empieza a cambiar su cara, sus colores a partir de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Primero llegan las comunidades europeas mediterráneas y luego en los años 60, 70 y 80 los hispanohablantes, Australia y al estado de Victoria. A constituir ese gran bloque de la diversidad multicultural y la diversidad lingüística que nos permite decir que somos hoy la sociedad que somos. Eh, yo tenía 13 años cuando vine a Australia. Y bueno, yo creo que él fue motivado un poco por la uh, situación política de España. Eh, eh, y yo creo un poco también por aventura. Eh, eran los años en que Australia estaba yendo a Europa del Sur um, para conseguir eh, trabajadores fundamentalmente trabajadores para su industria que seguía creciendo en aquellos años. This is a fascinating feature documentary, meaning our voices in Spanish. It was primarily about a group of Spanish-speaking people who immigrated to Australia starting in the 1960s. Many of them were from Chile, Peru, and Colombia. This film was so informative to me. I had no idea until watching this film about this group of immigrants. It was not the first thing I considered when thinking of Australia. But after watching the film, I am so impressed by the resilience, creativity, and bravery of these people taking such a long journey for a completely new life in Australia. I found the black and white footage and stories of the reasons why they came to Australia to be so fascinating. Many were refugees seeking asylum from harsh governments. Some came for a new lease on life and work. I enjoyed the soundtrack below the very candid and personal interviews, particularly the soft guitar and piano. It was sad hearing about how some people were initially very shy and lonely, but eventually learned to love Australia and give back to the country, sharing their culture and traditions, notably via music, radio and food. I was also impressed by the wide multiculturalism of Australia that really blossomed starting in the 1980s. Great film. I think this documentary was really eye-opening. Like the experience of people of color and um, like minorities in Australia, uh, it, it's not something I really think about a lot <laughs> and I think they did like a really good thorough job it felt really personal hearing like the like the first hand stories and like how things changed throughout history and then um just you kind of felt like you were like getting to know people while watching it and they gave like a really thorough explanation of I guess like what life is like what it's been like and um like how things have changed now I I just thought like it had a lot a lot of good information in it it was really informative and it was put together really well like there was there wasn't a part that looked bad <laughs> um like they were really creative with the editing and the like kind of art that can be found throughout it i just thought it was really well made and it had a lot of good information in it and it's definitely something that people should watch because it's not something a lot of people think about especially in this part of the world i don't and this is probably just like uh an American centered view. Like I don't really think about um, Hispanic immigrants in, in Australia. So to have that story be told at all is like, you blew my mind <laughs> with that. Um, but also just to, to, to portray all these individuals and, you know, why they came to Australia and the, the struggles that they faced getting to Australia, but then also, having to find their own community and deal with the isolation and um, the language barrier um, by being in this new place um, was, was really nice and really touching. Um, and I really enjoyed the, uh, the moment where you talked about music and this idea of a universal language and, and being able to bring people together just like with a, with with a commonality that's not a word but like a common interest um and and having that build a community from that and to to share the story during the pandemic as well i think he did a great job of finding these individuals for the interviews but being able to still um, conduct the interviews despite the pandemic i know there were some scenes that were obviously uh, filmed on location one of the individuals that looked like he was in his study or his office and you could tell that it was like formally produced but I think uh, having it be over camera didn't take away from from the story as a whole so 
um, phenomenal job connecting all the stories um, together, finding similarities between all of their stories and being able to to put uh, as linear of a plot together within this documentary and also just being able to do it um, under the circumstances. Just very, very well This done. shows authenticity, vulnerability. It's very emotional. It has a bit of everything with so many testimonials of why, when, how um, everyone arrived into Australia. Their hurdles facing cultural shock, most of all, and then adapting to a new language and facing racism and discrimination. How it became a safe haven for so many immigrants and refugees and refugee families where they were hoping for a better life for their kids and their families. Mm, they talk about education, their daily life interactions, um, how they had to manage the local culture, and what decisions were made after experiencing the not so welcoming environment towards outsiders. It is beautifully told. I love the interviews. Uh, and especially they showcase the music and art as a, f a common place for community. And it was just beautifully told. I, I really appreciate their effort. And it was a uh, great lesson of history for Australia and the Latin American diaspora. Very nice film. I, um, uh, it um, had a cast of characters that are so engaging. I thought that the uh, interviews were well done. They, they told their story in a way that um, really made us interested in, uh, in what they had to bring, where they were coming from. Uh, what they had lived and where they were going. Um, the documentary I found uh, very timely also um, in this world where there's so much um, displacement all over the world. Um, I think that films like this can be important to open um, people's minds and hearts and make them possibly more receptive to inviting people to live in their communities, people that uh, need help, that need a, a new home. Uh, there are a lot of them in the world. Um, I thought that this story uh, really uh, hit home. I was uh, just um, told with such um, empathy for the characters and uh, the, um, the way that we, uh, uh, w the, the music also, the format was well done. Um, the interspersing of uh, images with uh, the real people, I thought, uh, helped uh, keep us moving forward through the different acts of uh, this film. And um, yeah, it was nice to see the, uh, the great accomplishments of these people whose lives must not have been easy. It's not easy to uproot your life and start somewhere else. And um, these people were uh, an inspiration, uh, which is always good uh, from a documentary to, uh, to be inspired by the stories that are told. So, uh, yeah, uh, well done. I was engaged, I was inspired, and um, I, uh, I liked the movie. I think it was, it was I, you know, I always say that the strength of a documentary rides and dies on the subject matter. And this was very interesting subject matter. Um, it really taught me um like about things that i never even thought of before like like the idea of minorities or people of color in australia i never even then that concept of people of color in australia has never crossed my mind which is unfortunate and this put that put um uh, that in my face and um i really appreciate that i came away with a better understanding um i really want to shout out um how y'all really made the zoom meetings look good considering like in the preface how it was saying like oh like that wasn't the plan to start out and you kind of had to just improvise which is classic filmmaking, you know, Murphy's Law or whatever. Um, yeah, considering that, y'all really, beyond that, regardless, y'all really made the Zoom interviews look good, and I respect that. Um, I liked how y'all put it, a frame within a frame and had um, relevant backgrounds and also the, like, graphics with the, um, 
the lines on the outside and and just also it looked like y'all designed maybe you did maybe you didn't but i it worked either way the, the the rooms in like the rooms that the interviews were in in the zoom like the um one dude like had like a light in the background and also in front of him and like, it looked like he, that y'all put some thought into that so i appreciate that um that that that's quality um filmmaking so overall it was really good i uh, i liked i liked um all elements of it really really well done